Good afternoon. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Well, I'm about ready to jet out of here and go. I had to get another storage unit closer to me, so I'm going to be changing stuff over. So that's a fun. That's always fun. But anyway, it is what it is. So, But this story popped up, and there's a lot of people out there that don't believe that trafficking is such a thing, like human trafficking. And it blows my mind that they don't because it's really prevalent. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's everywhere. It's like when it's, well... It's like the biggest money-making thing, you know, besides gambling or gambling. They're right up there. I think this is even more so makes more money, you know, that, that type of trade. Um, disgusting, disgusting that it could be that way, but it is. But this, I ran across this video. It's not very long, but it, it's about a girl, a teenager who doesn't speak English, who had the gumption to just the last minute thing to call to text 911 so you're going to hear her story here and well put it this way it's it's i mean this this is these are the kind of endings that you want you know what i mean if it's just for something like this i mean not, none of this is ever ever good ever but the endings can be good and it can and i think maybe with her you know she was saved you know about two months, I guess she was had been kidnapped anyway, so I'm just gonna let it play. All right, so here we go. Young girl's urgent plea for help in a rural area of Ventura County. It took a new law enforcement tool and quick action to bring her to safety in the middle of the night. The girl texted 911 to save herself from being trafficked. Incredibly, sheriff's deputies were able to track her down even though she did not speak English and had no idea where she was. Samantha Cortese live in Hollywood with the story, Sam. Sharon Micah, a text message and a small detail about a store. If you're familiar with Casita Springs, there is really only one major store in town, and police say that detail helped authorities find her. 3 a.m. on May 9th, scared for her life and desperate to escape, a teen girl got access to a cell phone, but doesn't speak English and couldn't make a noise. So she texted 911. A Ventura County Sheriff's Office operator received the pleas for help. The system translated the text messages. Using landmarks to identify her location, the operator dispatched law enforcement to an area of Casita Springs, an unincorporated area of Ventura County on Highway 33 between Ventura and Ojai. She was alone. I know she was scared, but uh, once she, uh, the deputies got to her, um, she was felt a lot better. And then it was that point that we realized that um, they realized that she was a victim of something much more dangerous and much more scary. They found a teenager who'd been kidnapped in Mexico two months ago and trafficked into California. Law enforcement arrested Gerardo Cruz, 31 years old, a native of Veracruz, Mexico. He's awaiting trial for multiple charges, human trafficking, forcible rape, lewd acts on a child, luring, and sexual penetration with force. Detective Chris Dyer is on the team who found the girl and brought her food and safety. Scared, confused, uh, not knowing where she's at. There's been a little twist in it. We're not even sure she's 17. We, want, we think she might even be 15 or 16 years old, so we're still trying to work on her identity. Text to 911 operates throughout California. A text is treated like a phone call. It goes directly to dispatchers, and some counties, like Ventura, are equipped to auto-translate multiple languages. Young people text. That's how they communicate. So her first instinct is to text while she texts 911, and unbeknownst to her, that works. That suspect is in jail tonight on half-million dollars bail.